Hello guys! Success at work and in life necessitates exceptional decision-making abilities especially when time is of the essence. However, this is not an easy skill to master. We never seem to have enough time, resources, or attention to make wise decisions, so we jump to conclusions based on what we have and then proceed. Biases are used in the moment to convert stories into decisions. Jeff Bezos, the founder and CEO of Amazon, is well known for his unconventional, controversial, and yet extremely practical advice. He's particularly preoccupied with time and resource constraints in decision making. On its website, the company defines the principle as follows. Speed matters in business. Many decisions and actions are reversible and do not necessitate extensive investigation. We appreciate calculated risk-taking. Bezos expanded on this idea in his 2016 annual letter to shareholders, elaborating on the operational differences between day one companies, his term for companies that always operate with a beginner's mindset, which is his preference and day two companies move fast and break things. There is never enough time to consider all information and persuade everyone of every decision, so don't even attempt it. When you're a large company like Amazon, hiring tens of thousands of people per year, that's hundreds per day, the time constraint is real and should be considered. During its early days, Facebook's motto was move fast and break things. Another popular phrase in Silicon Valley is fake it until you make it. Another is fail quickly. These sayings are all attempts to reinforce a bias for action because it is preferable to hesitating and thus guaranteeing that a decision will be late, with little improvement in its chances of being correct. This decision-making attitude has not only been adopted by Amazon and Facebook, it's ingrained in our culture and our value system. To develop an honest bias when it comes to acknowledging the need to act in uncertainty, follow Bezos' advice and admit that there's a chance you'll need to turn around and head back if your decision was incorrect. Plan for unexpected consequences. Many of your choices will have unanticipated consequences. Perhaps you develop a product that customers adore only to discover that you must spend hours fulfilling orders and providing technical support. These unanticipated consequences are frequently type 2 decisions, which you manage by delegating, outsourcing, or reviewing business processes. If you make a poor type 2 decision, you don't have to live with the consequences for very long. You can go back through if you open the door. High judgment individuals or small groups can and should make type 2 decisions quickly. Bezos wrote, a new entrepreneur, for example, considering an email service provider, will carefully consider the costs of this software. This decision has a significant impact on their cash flow, and they must also choose an easy-to-use solution. As a result, he or she may spend several hours reading reviews and testing what's available. A more experienced entrepreneur may be content for a team member to recommend several solutions before settling on one. Then he or she will calculate the total cost and consider how long it will take to train others to use the new software. Take responsible risks with your choices. Decisions that defy conventional wisdom can yield the highest returns. Why would readers want to read books on a digital device when a paperback is available? Why would an e-commerce tour venture into cloud hosting and services? Will people put their trust in drones to deliver their daily purchases? Given a 10% chance of a 100 times payoff, you should take that bet every time. Bezos writes, plan for failures. Amazon has placed numerous bets over the years. Some such as the Kindle and its cloud services business were profitable. Others such as the Amazon Web Store, a competitor to Shopify, and the Amazon Fire Phone were costly failures, with the latter costing the company more than $170 million. Bezos considers such failures to be a normal part of the job. You're still going to be wrong 9 times out of 10, he said. When you step up to the plate in business every now and then, you can score 1,000 runs. This long tail distribution of returns is why it is critical to be brave. Do big winners pay for all the previous experiments? After all, entrepreneurs and executives who embrace their decisions learn far more than those who flee. His confidence does sometimes backfire and Amazon has made mistakes. He was convinced that the internet would change everything in the 1990s and he rushed ahead without hesitation. He borrowed billions to expand and it came back to bite him. He misjudged the runway's length and he was punished by investors for five years as a result. As a result, he can be overly optimistic at times. That's why he bought the Washington Post. He believes he can build these new businesses on the internet while the old incumbents fade away. He tends to march forward with little hesitation. That's all we've got for now. If you enjoyed the show, please subscribe, 
by clicking on the subscribe button. Please show us some love by liking and sharing the video with your friends and family. To receive updates on our new videos, turn on the notification button. That was all the time we had for today. For the time being, I'll bid you farewell and hope to see you soon in the next video.